Hey guys, welcome back to the Land of the Pharaohs. I'm Sajuk and we're going to go into the peaceful side of the end of the New Kingdom. So if you want to see Biblos, the militaristic pathway, click the card on the screen and it will take you over to Biblos where we fought off the Hittites and then later to see people at Roarty. But you can click the card on the screen to go to Biblos and see the start of that. But for this part, we're going to be going down the peaceful route and concluding some of the harder peaceful economic missions. Starting with Baki. A golden age. With the Hyksos successfully expelled from our country, our land is ripe for rebirth. A new kingdom that outshines past glory. Most noble pharaoh, Baki is an ideal place to begin this new kingdom. We can use the large amount of gold found there to fund your new vision of Egypt. While Egypt is on the brink of greatness, a few nagging problems remain. Many of Egypt's cities are still recovering from the disruptions caused by the Hyksos and may need Pharaoh's help. In other regions, Egypt's old enemies still attack us and a new enemy, the Sea People, has been raiding our northern coast. You must be prepared to defend other Egyptian cities from our foes, both old and new. As Egypt grows in stature, many cities are willing to engage in trade. Some of these cities are so familiar with our ways and in awe of your power that they consider themselves Egyptian, while others are foreign to us and are trading with us for the first time. For the glory of Egypt, take advantage of all these relationships to provide your people with all the goods they desire. To usher in the new era, your royal architects crave the opportunity to build two pyramids and a stately mausoleum for you, O Pharaoh. These will surely reflect the wealth and grandeur you have brought to Egypt. Indeed they will, but look at these population targets, 10,000 people, and of course because this is a peaceful um, route, it is going to require some very high level housing. We've got pretty high goals, 70 prosperity, kingdoms 85, culture 70 maxed out like it was in Saute, and some monuments. So it looks as if we can build a, a mausoleum and a couple of pyramids here. Um, probably going to have some troop requests and um, some new trade routes possibly, but we'll have a look at that. We'll continue on the hard mode, the glory of Egypt. Let's head to the city. And slow time right down and pause and have a look at this huge map. We've got a lot of space, but a lot of it is desert, which doesn't help. Here's uh, the Nile here with some floodplain. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So over here, what we've got, we've got some ore here. That's going to be gold, obviously. We've got clay pit, sandstone, gemstone, mine gold and copper mine. So we can mine our own copper. And there's a lot of rock here to do those things. Um, some hunting, so I wonder if that's a food type. Yeah, figs and hunting are our main food types on this map without imports, which is good. Um, some gold down here. Uh, not much floodplain here, but here's some more gold down here. A uh, nice big chunk of meadowland. Uh, more hunting and uh, reasonably so we've got <coughs> excuse me we've got more than sufficient floodplain and meadowland to pretty much feed everyone on uh, figs. Uh, hunting will be a problem but I'll talk about that later in the mission. Here's some more hunting here's some more gold and copper over here so there's many ways we could approach this. Now we could set up gold but we only start with 7,000 and these are really expensive. And we've also got to consider the palaces like 1500, so a lot of <coughs> excuse me, a lot of money would be wasted on setting this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into copper mining, uh, mainly because we are going to get some very early troop requests. The so one thing to note about the peaceful side of the game is that it will bombard you with requests a lot quicker. Uh, even in Hitep it will bombard you with requests quite early. Uh, not a lot of straight line coast up here, but there's reasonable amounts that we could probably trade here. Let's have a look at gods. We've got oh, hang on. Osiris, Ra, Ptah, Seth, no Bass, but we do have a temple complex to any of those gods. Now Seth becomes pretty useless because after a point in a mission there's no more military stuff at all. Uh, Ptah is not useful because uh, apart from schools you can get enough, I mean schools and libraries are the only benefit really. 
there and there's more than enough papyrus here that is not a problem. Uh, Razlor too useful because it's only trade which you could just use a festival square to do that. Osiris is the main one we're going to need here. We've got 10,000 as our target. Not a lot of hunting, more than enough food but a lot of things actually have to be imported. We've only got clay pits and if we don't have reeds, barley or flax to grow on this map we have to import those resources or the finished goods. So let's have a look at trade in a minute. Uh, we're not going to waste time with chariot makers, there's no uh, point in that. We don't have wood, we need to import that. So we're here at Baki, we've got Pwenet which sells incense. Could be useful, but we'll have a look at that later. Abu sells a bit of flax and linen, which we're going to need later. It sells sandstone, which is redundant, we can import, uh, make our own sandstone. Um, no music, which is unfortunate. Wah well, sells a lot of stuff, but they also sell limestone. Ejitoy sells a load of straw, pottery, linen and papyrus. We are going to have to import linen and papyrus. Mendefer sells reeds and papyrus. They also buy some luxury goods which we could potentially set up later. Roarty buys gems, copper and sandstone. There are things that we can actually produce but we're going to focus on gems and copper. Mostly copper. It also sells a bunch of barley and beer as well as more papyrus. So we can get pretty much infinite papyrus. We can get 7,500 papyrus from imports plus another 1,500 that we can produce ourselves from reeds. Uh, quite expensive that trade route though. But apart from barley we don't need anything else from there. Kadesh 1,845 to import ivory. Uh, we're also going to need wood because we'll have a look at our um, things. So we need uh, chariots. We need a full yard of all these commodities. And luckily we can produce pottery and luxury goods ourselves as well as weapons. It's just uh, linen and chariots we need to get imports for. And they also uh, buy linen and papyrus, which is useless. Um, let's just have a look at uh, trade prices here. Um, copper sells for 185. The copper mine only costs 180, so that plus a yard pays for itself. So we're going to set up a trade area right here. We're going to sell off copper, lots of it to Roarty. And we're also going to use that money that we get to set up military and also uh, gems as well because they're going to be useful for us. And one thing you may have noticed is that there is a lot of water trade on this one and annoyingly each of the cities I've just gone through all sell one commodity that you actually need. So Kadesh for example you need to import wood from there so that is a required trade route. Roarty is a required trade route because you need to import barley from there and beer. Manifair is effectively a required trade route to get more papyrus. You don't really need it but it's sort of a requirement because you will need to import other things from Roarty and Ijitoy which will slow down trade for papyrus there. Ro uh, Ijitoy is required for uh, straw and basically linen alongside Roarty. We can get more than enough linen. 7,500 linen plus 2,500 flax. I should you know. 6,500 linen plus 2,500 flax makes 9,000 linen, so more than enough for the city. And wax is needed for limestone, so we need at least 1, 2, 3, 4 minimum trade routes and four of them are, um, the four of them are water trade routes. So we're going to need a lot of docks, a lot of efficiency on how we trade in order to maximise exports and imports so we don't get a whole load of congestion. Uh, what's the monuments again? It's a small and medium mud brick pyramid, so we can produce our own bricks by importing straw. We are going to have a huge limiter on limestone because we can only import 25 a year. Luckily though we do have Ra. Uh, we will uh, build a festival square just uh, hold festivals to him. And he should boost trade quotas to give us 40 a year for a little while. So we can, can potentially one year get 80 with the trade quota boost which will help quite a bit in building these monuments. Mausoleum is fine, we can set that up at any time because we can produce our own sandstone, so not a problem. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up a housing block here. I'm not going to do too, uh, too much of one, just a small one. It will probably be a very low vault one. We are going to have to have a lot of fancy residences. Now, I, I do know that you can get 70 prosperity with just fancy residences, but I'm not going to risk that given that, um, if you remember in Saw, we only just barely got 71, and that was with one block of common residence and three blocks at fancy residence. Given that this block here is probably not going to go very high, uh, probably no higher than spacious uh, homestead, we are going to need some manners on this one. Now it's very easy because of the fact that we can actually produce our own luxury goods. We don't actually have to import anything other than barley, reeds and flax and 
their commodities as well, and we should be fine. So yeah, I'm going to set up a house block here, and I'll come back in once we start to make our copper. Okay, so here's our initial city. We're going to have one housing block here. Now, because of the fact that this is pretty much disconnected, it's only going to have this migrant crossing. Um, given that, it's probably not going to go too high this one. We're going to get them to at least spacious homestead, because we can just set up a little bit of you know, a little bit of clay here, just provide them a little bit of local pottery. But apart from that, we're not actually going to try and um, evolve this block. This is going to be basically a worker dump, effectively, for our gem mines, our copper mines, and our various military industry and all that. We can feed them anyway, because there's going to be a bit of hunting here. We don't need too much. Um, what I'm going to have is uh, clay pits down here later. We'll have storage yards along here, and then just all the other industries sort of scattered around this bit here. Because it's only going to be one dock right there. And one thing to note, if you haven't noticed before, um, traders on, uh, for water traders, uh, they will always go to the furthest dock on the map first. So if you had a dock all the way down here, say, and you'll notice I have blocked these in. Uh, the reason I blocked this in is for something I will explain later when we start to get towards 8,000 people, so don't worry about that right now. But to go back to the point I was making, um, if you have a dock, say, way down here, it doesn't matter if the goods they want to trade are up here, right? Pardon me. Um, the dockers, the, the water traders, will go all the way down the Nile, all the way down to the furthest dock, realise they can't do anything there, then they will go all the way back up to every other dock and then exit. So the, the way we're going to work this is we're going to have a dock here, this is the furthest dock, all of the traders will come here, so Roarty will always come in, because that's what we're going to be trading with first. They will always come in and buy up copper, the maximum, and then they'll go to all the other docks starting to import things like barley, beer, things like that. Um, one thing to note is that beer quantity is actually quite restricted on this one. We've only got 4,000 barley and 1,500 beer, so we don't have much to import. I'm not too sure if this quantity goes up later, but I do know that we've got 4,000 barley, and when you start to get towards like 10,000 people in the city, and um, that beer supply will get severely strained because you'll have loads of senate houses, and you'll have plenty of people using the beer. That's why we're going to be using the Osiris Temple Complex. Um, just to remind you, if you don't remember from Sauté, I'm not going to build it, I'm just going to go here and find the building. Uh, when you build a temple complex of Osiris, the goddess and Clyde said better floods from year to year, so that'll help the floodplains as well. Alta Sebek, um, food and goods will be stretched, so every uh, housing block will have an Osiris temple in it. Maybe, probably not this one, but it doesn't matter. And Oracle Min uh, causes, and this is an important one for this map, uh, the speed, he, speeds the regrowth of trees and reeds, useless. He also increases the rate at which prey animals reproduce and improves the yield from fishing and hunting. Now we don't have fishing here, but we do have hunting. That's why I blocked in one of the herds in this area here is not connected, because we want uh, hunting to be super efficient, because we don't want to import too many food types. Now if this area is connected, if I have a bunch of hunting lodges down here, what normally happens is that the hunters here will go all the way across the map, way over here, cross here and try to hunt here. Now, unfortunately that doesn't work because there is um, a walker tile life of how far they will go, and if they reach that limit they'll just go up here and go back. So what will end up happening is that the hunting lodges down here will have nothing in them because they'll spend all their time getting to this herd, realise they've gone too far, and then just go back home. And they will have done nothing. So that's why we're not connecting these two areas. If these two areas become connected, this hunting ends up being used all the way down here, and the hunters up here will now go all the way down here, which we don't want. We only want two herds to be used, these two here, and we're going to have a size of temple complex to make them efficient. Now, we may not try to have every house be fancy residence. In fact, we'll have probably a few down here. The majority of the blocks that I put down in this corner will probably be fancy residence because we can just um, farm as much flip things as we want and we can hunt down here. The blocks up here will probably go as far as common residence. If I can import enough food types from another trade partner, um, possibly we can import food there. We could go meat and chickpeas. And um, we may be able to do that for these blocks, but I'm not going to try too much to involve every single house. We'll have a bit of variety in the city. We'll have some spacious homesteads, some common residences, some fancy residences, and a manor area, a stately manor block. We're not going to go any higher than stately manors. We don't need to go that high. So there you go, that's my plans for this city. I'll just come back in once we have 
started to mine copper and we're ready to open up trade with Roarty, probably which will send us into debt. Yes, we do need employees in this city, but that's okay. Uh, most of that is just because I'm trying to use up unemployment. Uh, plenty of people are moving in. Unfortunately, this crocodile that's right here sometimes swims up here and starts eating my immigrants. So once all the immigrants are through the city, um, all of them that is, um, I will delete this and move it so it goes that way instead, assuming I can get across there. I've also reworked this road a little bit. Instead of having the entrance in there, I'm going to put it up here. Just because I realised game meat would be too far away, so that's fine. Uh, these, this one hunting lodge could just stop piling game meat for a little while. We have 1100 copper waiting to be sold. And we're going to have another um, ingot of that. Um, let's just see what's our labour shortage like. It's fine. It's just one worker. This one here, but that's all getting sorted out now as well. And so we're going to have... Um, a granary up here along with all the other things to just provide basic entertainment. We're not going to go too high with this. Um, I will provide them dancers even though it's not needed. Uh, it'll just help with the insane culture requirements we're going to need on this map. But we need 70 culture, 10,000 people. This is going to need a lot of buildings. So it's going to be a long slog. Anyway, we've got 1,200 copper. We've got no other choice but to open up Roarty right now and sell off that copper which is going to make us an absolute shit ton of cash. And with that money we're going to be able to set up gem mines I think. I do know that there's a very early request for gems. If this bloody antelope got out of the way it'd be great. Anyway, uh, if these guys move I will put down a, a gem acceptor yard right there. Uh, for now we're just going to stop. I mean this guy's got 300 gave me already and we've not even emptied it out which is good. Now traders I believe come from the north and exile up there so we don't have to build, as long as you don't build past this point you're going to be fine. And these antelopes are continuing to walk onto this space that I really want to put a gem storage yard for. Uh, let's just speed this up. It's going to buy up the copper and just stop us from going into debt. Look at all that cash. We've got all the cash in the world. Let's just put down, um, can I get another copper mine in there? One more copper mine, so let's just uh, assume there's going to be one there. One, two, three. We're going to use up um, the gem um, the gem space and then we're going to put down a yard here to accept gems. So we're going to start to work on gem exports. I know they're not really worth very much, it's only 92, but hey we managed to make an ex export economy out of gems in Rostra way back in the old kingdom. I think we could possibly do that here given that we've also got uh, copper as an export. So he could buy up another 1100 copper two times and we will max that out. So now we've got the gems industry going, we will now be able to start stockpiling that just in case someone asks for it. We've also got down a little bit of a shrine wall here as well. And we've not hit debt just yet so that's good. And we've got an antelope stuck in the godforsaken storage yard. Hopefully that doesn't cause too much of a bug and this has devolved a whole bunch of housing because of poor desirability. Never mind. Anyway, I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Well, it's uh, just sort of midway through the first, uh, the second year rather and already we're being asked to send something pretty extortionate. 1200 gems in 12 months. Now luckily we got enough money off the Roarty sales that we were able to put down a couple of gem mines and start to stockpile them. That's a really out of the blue and very harsh request very early on. Uh, down here you can also see I put down a couple of um, things to do with military. We are going to need to start training up some troops fairly soon. And um, given that there's no attacks against us, I'm not going to waste time putting down academies. Uh, I'd rather spend that money on a fort. Uh, we should be able to get another 100 copper. Yep. So that will be another 1100 to be sold. Which will give us more profit. And up here I'm stockpiling game meat. Which is going to be good. Once we sold out all this copper, I will um, basically um, start selling gems once we've uh, sent that off. So here's going to be the next influx of money. There we go, we're up to 4,000. So we are pretty much staying out of debt the whole time, just selling copper. We get about 2,220 demons, which is pretty good. That's not too bad. So we sold out all of our copper uh, for the year, and now we've got to focus on um, gems. But we need to stop piling for a request first. So. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens.
Okay, it's a bit early, but we are being asked to send troops somewhere. Alert your soldiers for the Egyptian armies engaged in combat. At the distant city of Gaza, it requires you to dispatch reinforcements here. At least we've got a, a year to comply, which is not too bad, because we have gone ahead and set up two forts, and that's going to uh, help us get through that. Now, in terms of uh, luxury goods, I'm trying to sort that out, but the problem is, is that there's not enough space. Now, I can get two right there. Uh, which will boost gem production, which is what I really need. But then if I want to get to any of these, I'm going to have to put a road around the back of this bit here, which is going to extend the line that this guy's going to have to walk to get to houses. And he may not reach uh, these houses if I put them away back here, which would require me to put down Feeder House, which I don't really want. Um, these guys are just not evolving, but that's okay. Uh, some of these houses will not really evolve very far, but that's not a problem. We can just plaza and hopefully get some... Uh, evolutions from that. Maybe from these buildings it'll help quite a bit. I'm not too sure. But there's not enough desirability in this area to really offset this, which is going to be a problem, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Yeah, I'll just put a little block right there just to make sure. So I can put down two of these and then that will sort of block in that bit here. He will have to go um, right, uh, right around this way and up. But we're going to start to train some archers. I'm not going to academy train them, that's okay. And we're producing enough weapons, so it's going to be fine. So yeah, we'll meet that troop request one way or another. I will try to meet that, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so we're sort of running out of time to fulfil this troop request. Now, I have gone ahead. I did say I wasn't going to put it down, but I put it down anyway because we just got a shit ton of cash. Uh, so the gods are all nicely happy. Now let's just set off our troops. We've got 12 infantry, 9 archers. This is the best we can do. Let's just send them off. And, um, yeah, let's just see if they win. Now, we are starting to produce some luxury goods, just in case. I mean, we've got all these resources. I'm sure someone's going to ask us something that we can produce, so let's just make sure we have enough of it. Um, unemployment's getting a little out of control, but that's okay. We are starting to produce as much as we can. I think it's now starting to be time to expand onto our main landmass right here. So, I'm probably going to set up two common blocks um, two of my big blocks, the two big ones I normally use, two of them side by side with all the industry up along this coastline. Um, not too sure, uh, sure where I'm going to put everything, but I'm going to have barley and beer production sort of separate from everyone else. Same with bricks and all that, but I could, suppose I could do bricks down here. Not too sure how I'm going to do it, but we have got our city going. We've got loads of unemployment. In fact, we've got way too much. All the gods are lovely and happy. Um, maybe I just need to expand on industries. I'm not too sure. Let's just put down another jeweler right there and we can just put down another weapon smith right there because we've got way too much copper now we're maxing it out and um, yeah let's just actually put down another uh, infantry fort while those guys are away hopefully this doesn't extend too close to these guys if it does then i can just put down another road down here loads of shrines to keep everyone nice and happy shrines are better than statues um, and it also helps with keeping the gods happy too so yeah, we're just going to keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Hopefully we have sent enough troops to help Gaza. Oh, would you look at that? The troops we sent off have succeeded. They're back from the war. And how many did we lose? We lost quite a number here. We lost seven in our uh, infantry company. And I don't know how many archers we had, but we lost a couple there. That's fine. Now I put down some uh, entertainment to try and uh, use up unemployment because it is a little out of control. Uh, we've got enough uh, luxury goods. We've also got ahead and put down another weaponsmith just to really pump these things out because they're just going so quickly. And over here you can see I planned out exactly where I wanted to put my two housing blocks. We're going to have them side by side, pretty much inverted just because of where the water tile is. But I want to sort of encroach these blocks very little onto the water tile so we have enough space to put down the entire industry that we're going to need right next to our um, see, because we need a lot of water trades. So we're gonna have two docks here. Um, yeah, two dock, one there, one there, and then one up here for our. This will be for barley and beer, and then uh, separate docks for everything else. So yeah, we've got through that first um, troop request. We'll probably have more, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. We'll just rebuild our forces as best as we can. Okay, so we're starting to plan out one of these blocks. We're going to put a housing block right here. Now, this is going to really mess up our unemployment. As you can see, it's 19% unemployment. 
Let's just connect, uh, just connect that. So what I've done here is I've set up a loop and pretty much every industry we need from docks is going to go here. Well, most of them anyway. We'll have pottery and food and all that kind of stuff here. Now, you can see over here, I have gone ahead and planted just about every single farm that I need. So we've got 26 farms and this looks quite nice. It is a lot of farms, but that's going to produce quite pretty much all the food we're ever going to require for this city. I don't think... I'd have been able to get a road around there, so I've just connected it in there. So I uh, managed to get this quite nice. I had to look back at an old save that I did on normal difficulty, just to see how I placed the farms, and this is how I did it. I just did pretty much straight lines all over the place, and it looks... it fits as many farms as we can. So that's 26 farms. Now, of course, 26 uh, metal um, floodplain farms, rather, is not going to support the entire city, so we will need to eventually cross down here and put down lots of farms on this flat, this bit of uh, meadow land here. Some of it is quite fertile. Don't think you can see it there, but there is some fertile bits and there's going to be quite a bit of farms there, so it's going to be quite good. I managed to get an irrigation ditch in there. I'm not going to exploit by putting some irrigation here and making that count as irrigation, because that really doesn't count. Anyway, we need to start our unemployment. It is getting quite high. Now, hopefully these guys will pass some houses and it will get access to employment and start to take down some of our unemployment issues. Uh, I've also gone ahead and put down a tower here. Uh, once all of the forts are not no longer needed, it will just not need them here. I'll move the recruiter to this side and just uh, put a tower right there. But for now, we can just keep on going and start to feed our people uh, on some things. Uh, we are going to have to try and find a way of taking down this very high unemployment. We can actually put down two yards here. This is going to accept figs. And this was also going to accept, uh, I'll not accept figs here, but we will um, tell us to accept pottery. Because I've made this wide enough that there can be a, say like a 4x4 building there and then a load of industries along there, along that side. But for now it's not a concern. Um, I have put a roadblock there because they were wandering up here and they would never get access to houses because there's no houses in this other block. Which is fine. I think we need to work on monument industries though, so... We've got a lot of unemployment, maybe I should just put down a bunch of work camps and start clearing the bases of our two pyramids. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these, but I'll find a place. In fact, I think there's a quite a nice place for this one. So, let's start working on our monuments. I'll come back in later if there's anything interesting to show. Oh, what's this? To satisfy citizens' needs, uh, the city of Wast wants a thousand luxury goods in nine months. And at the exact same time, we're asked to send troops somewhere. The trouble is not over, for the Egyptian army is engaged in combat in the distant city of Gaza, again, and requires you to dispatch reinforcements there, so we've got 10 months to send troops. Now, it's kind of annoying because I've just opened up a trade route to Menefer to start selling luxury goods, but we could just dispatch um, some luxury goods off there, and we just need another small force. Now, what I'll do is I'll just let our infantry and all that recover a bit, and we'll set off everything we've got once all of that stabilised for a bit. Uh, let's see. There's men effort coming to buy up 1100 luxury goods. There's at least going to be some there and that's uh, going to be good. Um, we're really having problems with unemployment so I had to go ahead and delete a bunch of houses along here because we didn't have the money to really employ them. Uh, we're getting food which is going to be good. Uh, Ra was also a little bit upset uh, so I went ahead and put down some houses here just to get a couple of temples running. Um, they've just moved in which is going to get these guys going which is actually going to help with our unemployment as well. But let's put down a granary right here to accept we'll get thinks. And we may consider uh, feeding a few people. In fact, let's just delete that road tile there. Uh, this is how I'm controlling uh, the amount of farms we need. Uh, I've put them all down, but I'm just going to delete road tiles where I don't need uh, farms working. So, we've got the, the work camps there. Four of them should be able to cover at least the monument and a few farms. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, two of these will cover the farms and the other two will cover this. So, that's not going to be a problem. So yeah, I'll go and send my troops off to help Gaza when they're uh, starting to build up a bit and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. At this point, we're just starting to grow the city a bit. Okay, so I just missed this, unfortunately, just at the point when the game auto says uh, I couldn't get the, the little graphic above it, but it doesn't matter. Um, Menak Khufu wants 2,400 portions of game in six months. Um, well, we do have that, so let's just send that off. Um, also to note is I forgot to put down a physician in this block and we're getting problems with disease in this area. Hopefully this guy will be able to take down some of these ones that are basically disease ridden. Um, not really taking them all down so let's just spam some of these just to try and get them 
uh, cleared. I totally forgot about that. I didn't even notice it wasn't there. I thought it was there, so that's my fault. All right, troops are still being requested, so let's just send off. Uh, I've got one more weapon coming in. Right, once one weapon comes in, we're going to send off everyone. Because then that'll produce one more infantryman. Just going to wait for it to appear. 15. Let's see, there he is. Okay, so let's just... Uh, I'm not going to save, I've just saved, that's okay. So set off all of them and they'll be fine, they'll be completely victorious. And uh, we'll start to get rid of some of this uh, disease issue in this block. See, so start to take it down and it will expand a few and that'll keep it in check for a while. I think we just do need to evolve these houses up into uh, the next level to try and control that a bit. We are going to start to feed these guys um, some figs which we're getting from the farms. And um, yeah, that'll help as well, that'll help improve that. Uh, we've got unemployment, we've got employment issues, sorry, which is fine because um, we did take down all of the buildings, but that's okay. So yeah, we'll just build back our forces, hopefully uh, we'll get some more time between the two battles and hopefully recover our troops a bit more. We can just put down a couple of booths in corners like so, pardon me. And um, I don't really think we need too much more copper, we've got more than enough now. Don't think we really need the gems either. Once that starts to stockpile, it'll be fine. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going, and we'll come back in if anything of interest happens. At this point, we're just starting start to grow the city, start to stockpile resources that we might need for our citizens or for requests. Okay, so our troops came back a little while ago, and we've just been told that because your troops helped win the day at Gaza, we have conquered them. Perfect. Well, that stopped the silly battles up there, hopefully, but we have conquered Gaza and started to push our boundaries again. <clears throat> uh, in terms of other things, I've gone ahead and put down the footprint of the medium pyramid just to get that cleared and then we can work on these two things at once and hopefully start to evolve our six. We want to complete these miners fairly quickly because unfortunately our limit is limestone. Now, I am going to set up an area to put down the temple complex of Osiris and it's going to go um, somewhere along here because eventually we're not going to need to train up any more troops. Once they're all trained up, then we can just delete the recruiter and put it somewhere else. And the academy as well. And then we can use this little area down here for making pottery. Now I have moved this temple. Uh, the, there was a large statue here and I put a temple to a site on the back here. I put a bunch of birds just to keep these guys uh, evolving. We're not going to evolve them right up to the top, but that's okay. This guy's just going to be a sturdy hut for the remainder of his life, which is fine. Down here we'll have a couple of potters making some pottery. Uh, not too much, uh, we'll have enough there. And it's got a full yard of pottery, which is even better. Unemployment to 7% is just going to keep on going up. So let's just find an area to put down this. Um, I think we could just put this right up at the back, to be honest. Uh, where is the roadblock, actually? Um, we're gonna, that's our firehouse, isn't it? Let's just move the firehouse to there delete that and move the roadblock to there and that should work just about the same which will be fine <coughs> and then up at the top here we'll have a an area to stockpile pottery we'll just put that there and we can have two clay pits and then four potters down the bottom there so let's just uh, put this along the top here somewhere just there and we'll put in the altar and all that later, when we've got the opportunity to do so. We have done employment, it's building up again, which is fine. I'm also going to have another little shrine wall down here. We're going to encase this area in shrines as much as we can, just to boost desirability. We haven't got much ways of boosting it, unfortunately. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going. I think I'm going to connect up more farms now. Let's just actually disconnect there, and connect this bit up, and then put down another couple of work camps just there. So yeah, we're just going to farm up more food and um, I'm also going to have a couple of farm uh, work camps down here just to cover this bottom bit easily so these guys aren't having to walk a whole distance. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. We're just sort of building up the city now, which is good. Ooh, what's this? Because Tyre lusts for glory, the city of Tyre demands you send 6400 gems in 5 months. Um, we won't actually be attacked so we can just ignore this extortion, we're not going to pay that. Um, so let's just ignore it. Now we have to take over. We're very close to debt. Uh, hopefully the, some of these traders will come through and start buying up things that we can produce. Let's actually... Yeah, we're not going to pay that off. That's just going to be ignored. We'll just export luxury goods and copper and just try to get out of debt. We're close to it, which is not too good. 
Unfortunately, it seems these guys want to go around a long way to get to this uh, fort, which is fine, it just wastes time. It means that this will fill up very quickly. Um, in terms of the mausoleum, I'm probably going to put the mausoleum butting up against this housing area here. We're just going to turn it and put it there. Remember, you can turn the, the mausoleum by turning the map direction and it will go with you. So I'll put the mausoleum there and then we'll leave space for them to get uh, the caravans and all that. We've run out of money, that's just, just gone into debt unfortunately. But we've got about 2,500 which is okay. But we're never going to hit debt again because we're going to have our exports going which is perfect. It's taken us this long to actually get into debt. That's what, six years? That's not too bad. That's not too bad for me. But we're never going to hit debt again. We're going to start expanding our city, maybe down here. Start to hunt. Whatever the poxy things have gone. I've got a way over here which is not really useful. We're going to have to try and control that. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Okay, so the uh, extortion is still outstanding, but apparently uh, because we conquered the foreign city of Gaza, we can now trade with Tyre, even though the extortion is still outstanding. Uh, let's just have a look at Tyre here. 1665 demons to open a water trader to get incense. I can get incense for 300 demons from uh, Planet, and neither trader is even necessary to win the mission because Kadesh, uh, you need any way to get wood, and they sell ivory. So both Tyre and Planet are pretty much the most useless trade routes in the entire mission. Um, we don't need either of their materials because we can already produce our own uh, luxury goods so we can get to Stately Manor. And if we want uh, palatial estates we just have to enable importing of luxury goods. Given that Kadesh is a required trade route for wood then we've already satisfied it. So we don't need Tyre, we don't need Planet. So Pretty much a redundant trade route. Now I've gone ahead and marked out exactly where I want to put the mausoleum. It's going to go there and around the outside we're going to put down pretty much all the entertainment things we'll need to support this. Maybe a bit overkill but that's okay. I've uh, got enough figs and we're starting to provide everyone with access to these things. Now because this has got a temple of Osiris in here, these should use up less food and commodities which is going to be perfect. Unemployment is starting to get up there, that's going to be fine. We're getting money, we're exporting copper as usual. Men of first bought some luxury goods, let's have a look, they bought 2,200 of the year. Roarty's gonna, uh, this is Wast, not very useful. Wast will come and realise they can't trade there. They'll then come over here and start selling us uh, limestone. I have gone ahead and opened up that trade route to Wast, just to start getting limestone. I'm also gonna find a place to put down the festival square, I think I'll probably just put it over here. To be honest, um, let's just um, extend this out, put a roadblock there and then do one, two. There. There's the Festal Square, so it's only going to be for the people on this side of the map, which is fine, it means they won't have any problems. Let's start giving Festals to Ran and hope that he will increase the trading quotas, which we're going to sorely need. Meanwhile, our forts are all filled up, so we'll let the events go through. There might be some more requests for troops, and so we'll send off our troops, recover them, and then we'll delete this recruiter and then move it over to this side, which will be fine. So yeah, we're getting through the mission quite nicely now. Money's sort of there, but not totally. Uh, we're starting to solve our problems right now. I need to also go ahead and set up an area for sandstone production here as well. Which is going to require more unemployment to support that. So maybe I just put down more houses in this block, or start to evolve this one. In fact, let's just evolve this one. Pottery, there you go. So yeah, we're going to keep on going, and I'm going to come back in if anything of interest happens. At this point, we're just starting to work on our monuments. Okay, this is a little out of the blue. Abu wants nearly a whole yard of copper in 12 months. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let Roarty buy up 1100 copper. Uh, they're also going to sell us bricks. Uh, we are going to just basically import bricks to build this monument here because it only requires 4800. Um, this monument will have its own bricks created because uh, it needs 24,000. We can't import enough straw from Ejitoy to be able to do that. Uh, we are going to be able to have to trade with them anyway to get papyrus and linen because uh, there's not enough linen on this map. But um, yeah, um, these houses are also, uh, they're, they're starting to get there, they just need uh, some uh, better entertainment which we will start to provide in time. Um, the musician just needs to sort of get around to it. I think she's might be disappearing about here. Let's watch her. Yeah, she's disappearing right there so she's not getting to these guys. But eventually they, she will go down that way and make that choice. So they're going to now sell us um, bricks. 
into this yard, but also going to import wood. I'm going to do that very shortly once we've gone through some of our sales. God, that money. All the money we got from Roarty is just gone into bricks, which is not very useful. Anyway, we've sold off all the copper we're going to get. Um, let's see if we can just stockpile a little bit more copper. Let's just put down another copper yard uh, mine right there. Really just stockpile this again so I can send off that copper to Abu and not drain our funds too much. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and I'll come back in a bit later. Okay, another troop request uh, again to Gaza. Uh, we did uh, get a kingdom rating boost for not paying that uh, demand, that tyranny stuff at Tyre. Um, it has pushed our kingdom rating up a bit more, which is good. Uh, we could just set off all of these troops and they will be victorious. Meanwhile, the monument is completed. We've got enough bricks. Uh, the problem, of course, is now the bloody limestone, which we can't seem to get enough of, which is not... Very useful. I did get a trade blessing which did increase this up to 40, but we're not really getting enough limestone here. Um, you men of fair, no. Now, of course, if the, the traders come over here, then they are guaranteed to go to all the other docks. But if the guy comes here, he's just going to go here, fail to trade, and then exit. He's not going to go over here, which is very useless. And uh, to be honest, let's see. Wast isn't going to trade anything there, so you come over here and sell me some limestone. Which is really the thing that's holding this back. Now, I hope to want to get this um, out of the way, well, this out of the way, before they start doing this, which is not going to be very useful. Unemployment is skyrocketing, which is actually really useful, because now I can go ahead and set up a whole load of sandstone quarries. So let's just go ahead and build um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll just build a load of these. And then we can just do this. Um, let's just put down a little square of houses there, and then that, and then firehouse, architect's post, and police station. And I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, and I'll go through all this tedious stuff later. Um, actually, I'll just set them all to accept none for now, just to save you the, the bother of having to watch me do this, because it's just tedious. So, yeah, we're going to start to stop pile of sandstone. That will use up a lot of unemployment, which we have 247. Jeez, that's a lot. And we haven't even fully evolved this area at all, which is actually amazing. Uh, prosperity is going to be limited by the fact that we have a lot of unemployment, but once we take that down, we can then find out what it's actually limited about. I think it's about 35, 40, with the house in the way it is at the moment, which will be fine. So yeah, we're just going to start to import the limestone, try to get this done before this gets completed and uh, with its clearance and all that. And then we can get on with the sandstone mausoleum and then start to grow the city. So I'll come back in a bit later if anything of interest happens. Well, this is a bit out of the blue. Um, Roarty wants 24 blocks of sandstone in 12 months. Now we have just set that up, so we should be able to meet that. It's taken our unemployment from about 80% down to just under 10, so that's actually a lot of people remind you to employ here, which is good. Uh, these should produce 10, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 every couple of months, which should be enough to meet that request. Yeah, a couple more blocks will do it. And um, yeah, so nothing's actually happened, we just, it just came up so suddenly there. Um, I'm going to have to find a place to put down this palace, certainly not there, because that's pointless. Um, I'll probably put the palace over here and um, work on that. Now this is almost cleared before this is done, which is not very useful, but if, as long as we can get all the bricks used up here and they don't go here, that'll help. I've also set up this area here, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I've set up an area over here to start importing barley, which I think we could do. There we go, got that request fulfilled very quickly. Let's just import to maintain 1200 of that and then start to produce um, beer. We'll just do four of that. And we can put that there, I'll have a yard to accept beer. In fact, we will probably end up maintaining a whole yard of barley, which is fine. Let's just have a look at trade. Um, still 4,000 barley and 1,500, so 5,500 beer a year. Isn't a lot, really. So we're going to have to make sure this supply lasts quite a bit. Um, still holding vessels to that, and I hope that he will boost trade quotas to WASP because there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this mission in any reasonable time if I'm limited to just 25 limestone. Given this needed, what was it, 192 limestone and this needs 432, that's a long time. So 
I think we're going to be here for the long haul. Um, you guys seem to have access to food to it for no reason, but let's just give you a bazaar. Um, we'll not evolve them too quickly because we're going to be here for a while. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and I'll come back in later if anything of interest happens. I'm not going to show too many of those royalty requests. They just come around every so often for random commodities like pottery or um, sand. So I'm not going to show them anymore. Okay, so our troops came back and the Egyptian army was victorious, whatever that means. Uh, Kingdom rating boosts are very useful, Ra, but I don't want that. I want you to increase trading quarters. Now, for some reason, apparently this yard set itself to only accept uh, three quarters. I don't remember making that change. Uh, maybe I did, I don't know. But this seemed to go to a quarter, which is why we weren't getting enough limestone from Wast, which has slowed down everything considerably. Now, hopefully this will get finished and then they won't uh, take the bricks away because I need 1,600 bricks. If needed, I'll just actually, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just delete the road connections to hit. And hopefully you'll count yourself as blocked in. I don't think it counts as blocked in until this base is cleared, which is not very useful. Uh, we're just trying to get limestone now. Wasp keeps going here, which is not actually helping. Right. And because our forces triumphed at the distant battle of Gaza, we have apparently conquered Tyre, the people who were trying to extort from us. So that doesn't change anything, that trade route was already open, it just changes that icon. So, nothing changed, that's that story bit over, we're not going to need any more troops. So we'll just recover our troops here, leave them there, and then delete the recruiter, because we are no longer going to need these things. Which is good. Rorty's gone there. Not there, which doesn't help. Unfortunately, this system's not really very perfect. It does require a bit of hope that they go there, but we're going to be fine, I think. So, yeah. Let's just finish off this monument, and then we can work on other things. Let's see our sandstone. It's not piling up quite nicely. So, yeah. Let's just keep on going, and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. At this point, it's just b uh, big city building. Okay, so we managed to complete this small little pyramid here. We've got enough limestone. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any useful help from Ra. I think for the last, what, however many years since I last got one, all I've got is constant encouraged by your proper or Ra boost your kingdom rating and all that. I mean, it's really nice, Ra, but there's no point because you've maxed my kingdom rating, so it actually has no effect. Uh, meanwhile, we have about 4,500. I'm not really trying to evolve the city at this point. Uh, largely because we have so much unemployment and not really much to employ the people with. Now if I evolve the housing really quickly, yes that gets uh, me a lot more people, but it just means that ve very much later I'll have a bunch of ageing to deal with, and that doesn't really help. Um, over here we're also importing straw, went ahead and opened up the trade to Egypt. I know this is a glitch, this sometimes happens with multiple docks, but it's fine. Uh, so we are importing straw, making our little bit of bricks down here, we only need 24,000 bricks. We're going to have to find some way of trying to boost uh, trading quotas, because 25 will not get us anywhere. Alright, let's just speed this up. And watch the small pyramid complete. Then I don't need to show you the big one because it's so boring. Uh, so there you go. Nicely completed. We completed it actually pretty quickly. I wasn't expected to have a pyramid done already, but there you go. So we've done the first pyramid. Now I need to stockpile on bricks and an absolute shit ton of limestone and work on the larger pyramid plus the smaller one down here. Let's just actually delete those. And uh, yeah, so we are producing beer. In fact, let's expand this a little bit. I think what we can do is just uh, bring beer over here. Yeah, let's just bring beer here. A quarter will do. So yeah, our city's stable. I'm also producing some pottery for over here. We can evolve these guys as well. Might as well give them pottery now. Got a bit more uh, clay pits than we need, but I suppose we've actually filled this house. We don't really need too much here, so that's okay. I've also gone ahead to put down another shrine wall, just keeping all the gods lovely and uh, approving. And at this point, I'm just harassing Ra in the hope that he will actually do something, like boost trade quarters. So yeah, we'll just keep on going, and I'll come back in later if anything of interest happens. I don't think really anything will, apart from evolving the city. Okay, so I've been trying to work out why on earth we have so much difficulty getting limestone. And it's obvious. We have too many docks. But of course I can't delete them. So here we've got a, um, a trading boat from Wast. Now all he did was he went there to this dock, the furthest dock, then this one, and now has just decided to leave. 
Now, over the course of however many years we've been playing since the last cut it off, we've had numerous trade blessings, but of course, it never gets used up because the traders keep leaving the map. Now, I'm not too sure why he's not going from here to here and all the other docks, he's just only going to there, there, and then buggering off. Which has meant that for whatever reason we have been struggling to get limestone, uh, which has really played havoc with our workforce because we've been sat here watching our city get old, basically. It has plateaued down a bit. It was a rather high spike earlier. So what I did is I went ahead and planned out two areas over here that we are going to fill up to the top level, obviously. It's given us a lot of unemployment, which helps, but I really need to solve this problem a whilst. Just entering the map constantly and not actually doing anything, and then of course you've got Roarte basically bouncing backwards and forwards between all of the docks, like mad. Last. There, see, if he comes to here, it's fine, because he's going to sell me limestone, but if he doesn't come to here, it just only goes to these two docks and leaves, then we don't get anything. It's been very infuriating, mainly trying to get Ra's blessing of action. I don't know why, but apparently, um, if you go to... If we just go back a bit here, let's see. Um, this is a minor blessing to increase trade. Uh, yeah, so see if it says a minor blessing, but the word minor is in lower case. That means you're basically getting a trade boost. But if the word minor is capitalised, for some reason that means boost, tra uh, boost um, kingdom rating. It's actually very useful to see that little typograph uh, error, but it gives you an idea of what you're getting. Uh, meanwhile, one thing that we have done is we have got enough bricks, uh, we've got enough straw, so I'm just letting all the bricks sort of use themselves up. Once they're all used up, I will explore all of it and then delete this little segment. Of course, once the monument is done, these two pyramids are done, I will not need to trade with Wast again, so then they don't become a problem. Um, so yeah. Um, one thing to know is that pretty much the remainder of this mission is going to just be me building the monuments and then trying to get the, mo uh, the population up. Uh, high unemployment is causing havoc for our, uh, our prosperity, but that's okay. That will be solved as we start to sort out other things. I'm going to try to delete one of these docks, I think, soon and try to import all the limestone that we need as quickly as we can. Let's see. Twelve. I love the art of so that's four of them that are going to exit. Only one actually did something. The rest are just leaving for no reason. Who's this? Roarty. I'm actually just watching every one of these, try to work out which one's going to do something useful. Now see, the problem is he's gone here. Right, there's Wast, okay? So he came to this dock here and is selling me stuff. But for some reason, he's not going to go from here all the way across to all the other docks. To do something. Now he's finally leaving. But of course this is slowing up trade, so if I can get rid of this dock and this dock, I think we'll be a lot better off um, in this city because we really totally need... I tried connecting up all these docks in the hope that I've got a 33% chance that he'll go to one of these docks and sell me something. Apparently not. Never mind. So let's see if we used up the quota. We did, so we're not going to get any more limestone, which is a shame. Oh well, I'll just plod along with this and I'll come back in once there's something interesting to show at this point. It's just me being agreed by the game and trying to build a monument. That's all I'm doing. Okay, finally we've got all the limestone into this one. Here's the last thing going up, so we do not need to import any more limestone. Ugh, that's the only thing I hate about this mission is how slowly you have to get limestone. Luckily we don't have to do that anymore, so let's just, um, hopefully they've not glitched, they haven't, there we go, so that's that last bit there. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to just set up a chariot uh, storage yard right here, we're going to just put that there, and stockpile chariots. Now the reason for this is because chariots is actually a requirement, so we do need it. Now of course now that we're no longer importing any sandstone, uh, not sandstone, straw and limestone, we should start being able to work on boosting our coffers because we're not going to be importing so much shit. So um, let's just delete this connected mode because we can now go back to having this isolated dock stuff again, which will be fine. Uh, once we stop piled all of the stuff that we needed here, I'm going to stop importing wood. Well, we will need the wood to build this, but that's not a problem right now. So what the heck? That was the weirdest glitch ever. You would have seen that on the video. There was a, as if they were glitching up the monument. There, see. 
They've got the limestone, but this dude's just stuck here for some reason. Huh. I hope that doesn't affect the monument because that looks really silly. Um, but let's just speed this up and see if he disappears eventually. God, this mission's giving me weird bugs and shit. Okay, the monument, it just randomly went in there for no reason. Okay. Now, once uh, this monument is done, I will then clear up all of these stone maces and put them somewhere else. Just because we only need us them for sandstone, which we can locally produce, so that's not a concern. Floods have been a bit average, but that's okay. Anyway, there's the two pyramids done. They look quite spectacular. We've been here for way too long, but we're going to have to just keep on going with it. It's got no um, end to this mission, to be honest. So let's just delete all this, because it's just getting in the way. We can delete that too, because we don't need brick layers, which are now thankfully gone. And, yeah, so we're done the two pyramids. We now just need to work on the sandstone mausoleum. And start to evolve the city. So we're gonna start. Well, I'll stop pile the chariots. Once that's done, I'll delete all of this, move them somewhere else, and then start to work on boosting the city because we need a lot more population, and we really need the workers as well. Okay, so we're now going to start to feed our two housing blocks here. That will provide us probably up to eight thousand once we get it all fully developed. We're also going to draw out this block, which is going to serve as basically another place to put workers. And in the space between the two segments, so we're going to have this segment over here, a uh, manor area in the centre, and then this sort of area over here, which we have got papyrus over here for. And we're going to import papyrus and as well as make it because we just need lots of it. Um, I'm not really sure we need this dock, to be honest, uh, because I don't really want them trading here. Um, I'd rather have them trade over there, so let's just start deleting... Some of the unnecessary docks in our city once all the trade has gone through, so let's just delete that one. And uh, once this is all cleared out, I will delete. Oh, I hope I'm not stuck. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Please don't tell me you're stuck. Oh, you've gotten stuck. Okay, fine. And uh, meanwhile, we have a stockpile of chariots. I've also got ahead to put down the city palace and increase taxes and all that to try and make some more money because we're not really selling that much. And of course, we've now got a whole lot of trade routes open that we don't need, so let's just. Sort this mess. Let's just delete that. Not enough entertainment to be found in apparently, but that's not really a problem. We can just put down. I mean, we're not. I mean, where are these guys going? That's what I'd love to know. Are you just going all over the city or something? How I'll never know. Anyway, we'll just clear off this and um, put those there. Hopefully, they'll get enough access to jugglers and stuff like that. Uh, so we've got these under common messages. I'm not going to evolve these any higher, and we're just going to have two docks. One here, and one up here, so you'll either trade here, or you'll buy stuff here. Uh, Minute Kufu wants pottery, we've got loads of that. Uh, am I actually... Actually, I'm not going to expand this. What I'm going to have is I'm going to have basically little satellite uh, productions. We're going to have enough to support this area. Then we're going to have a load of it over here to support all of this. In fact, since we don't export pottery, I may even turn this into just a getting yard delete all of this or expand this into the full thing and just have it all over here. I'm not too sure I'm going to do it. So we have the, the reeds coming in as best as we can, really. We're just going to let Wast and all that get out of the way. Um, yeah, because we don't actually import a single thing from Wast. We don't need clay, pottery or even copper from there because we can produce all that ourselves. We don't need put plain stone or granite and no longer do we even need limestone. So, you end up having to open this trade route and then it just has to sit around clogging up docks, which doesn't actually help. At least uh, Age of Toy still has a purpose with papyrus and linen, so I'm saying the words out wrongly here. Menifer is still useful and Roarty is still useful, so there you go. And of course Kadeshus ends up having to be completely useless because we do not need them. So straight away we've got two trading cities that are just going to clog up everything, which we really don't want. But never mind. Um, we got enough papyrus in the city. We actually have more than that because we've got across all of this. We just need to start importing other stuff. Wast just needs to clear itself out. Maybe I'll just put back the dock or something. I don't know. Uh, what's this? This is because of entertainment. Yes. Let's just put that there. And um, actually, let's not put that there. Let's put that there and delete that. Yeah, it will. <clears throat> this happens when you get to this level of house and just do this devolve re-evolve thing, but never mind. 
So we're going to start off all this housey block. We're going to give them access to an absolute shit ton of figs from down here. We may actually have all of this just go up here. I'm not too sure, but we'll eventually have some of this going over to the right-hand side here. Have I put down any of the... Oh, we haven't, which is a good time. We're going to put down the altar of Sebek and the altar of Min right now because we now need them. We're starting to get up to six and a half feds, which is good. So yeah, we just need to keep on going and expand the city considerably to meet our goals of a lot of culture, a lot of prosperity, and a lot of people. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up this little area down here on the southern landmass, which has got a lot of fed, um, metal land rather, I can't say my words whatsoever. This mission is just pissing me right off. So we're going to have pretty much as many of these as we can. Some of them are actually 99% fertility right in the centre there. And this is pretty much going to supply the limited amount of food that we can get off of this. I think we can grow, what is this? We've got like food to support like 20,000 people and that's largely because of the bonus that's on this, which is going to really stretch the supplies. So we're starting to get this up there. I'm also moving all pottery production to here, rather than having it on the other island, uh, by the coastline rather. Uh, just simply because this will simplify things considerably by having it in one place because then I can just have it all getting from there. And of course there's enough here to last forever so it's not going to be a problem. Unfortunately when I connected up these two areas, um, these guys sort of went all the way across there and dumped all of it here which didn't help. But that's okay so we can start feeding two types of food to these guys. These will last forever and we can also start bringing other commodities down here. Let's start bringing... Um, what can we bring? We've got pottery, we've also got beer. Um, papyrus can go there. Uh, let's see, there we go. Unfortunately it's still connected, so I might try to disconnect this area so it's not connected to this, so they are only getting their food from here. In fact, let's just do that. Let's remove that connection. And let's just remove... Um, how do I do this? Uh, let's just move that there. Let's just do that. There. I want to have all this floodplain go over to support these guys, and if needed, I can just connect a few of these over to the right hand side. But for now, we're going to keep these guys completely separate because having them connected is just going to screw up an absolute shit ton of things. So I'll have a little bit down here and that'll be fine. But yeah, we're now at 8,000, which it doesn't feel as if it's taken very long to get 8,000, but. We have got 8,000 people. What's our unemployment like? 16%? All that means is that I just spam out as many of these as I can. I mean, I've got so much space to put down all these farms. It's just a little ridiculous. Just put down as many as we can. There we go. That's as many as we can get. So we now have how many fig farms? 58. <laughs> that's a little extreme, I think, to be honest. There is a roadblock here because some of these guys might go the wrong way, which is fine. I'll just put a well there just to evolve them. How many do we have? Yeah, 58. So this should pretty much support everything that we're going to need over here. If not, then we can just connect some floodplain farms over here as well. But for now, we're not going to do that. This, th These guys are going to be completely separate from the rest of the city and they will use getting yards to get what they require. And since they have put the, the bonus stuff on this, I think that the supply of beer should last... Well, as long as it can, hopefully. We will have to bring linen here as well anyway because we will need to provide these guys with mortuaries. Not because of health things, but just for culture and this is going to take for bloody ever to get up. So yeah, let's just evolve all this housing over here straight up to fancy residence and I'll come back in when we're ready to start developing our manners area that we are going to need to get the cult, uh, not the culture, but the prosperity past the 70 requirement. Okay, so we're starting to get some manners uh, starting to be developed here. Um, we haven't pushed them up past spacious residences yet. Now, one thing to note is I did have a bit of a devolvement over here. What had happened was this guy went was set to get a half, but he was targeting this one over here. So that caused him to just basically run out of pottery and um, then this whole area devolved. But that's okay because if we have a look at our senses, we kicked out loads of old people. And that's what we want. We want to get rid of this wedge of people from s over 50. Um, we actually have someone just nearing 80. I, you won't see that on your video feed, but I, I can see that there's someone just coming up to 80. So we can get rid of this 
large wedge of old people, we will have lots of unemployment, which will help to support our eight manors that we're going to have down here. Now how I'm doing this is I've moved all of my pottery down here, we're just getting it from here. And we've also set up a bit of a smaller little area for uh, jewellery production, which will just help with this. It means I don't need to connect these two sides or try to import luxury goods, because that's pointless. Uh, these guys will get access to pottery in time and we stabilise back up at common residence. That's as far as we're going to put them. We will have to get, get linen over here. Uh, either way. Uh, we are going to import it as well as make it. We've imported enough flax to produce linen here and that will support all of this area over here but we are going to need to import some linen to support this area as well because 2,500 flax a year is not going to support the whole city. We aren't going to put anything over here. That This is as far as we're going to go with this. Um, so without putting a mortuary here we should be able to meet our culture requirements. We just need lots of jugglers which is going to take some time and of course employees but I'd rather get all of our manor set up before we do that. Uh, we're just trying to stabilise the food supply. I hope that this uh, person's not glitching out. She's not. There's plenty of food and goods in there. So I think we could actually just get them up to the next level by giving them linen. Um, I also uh, noticed that the gods were getting upset so I went ahead and put down shit tons of shrines. What I've went and done is just spam them everywhere. So I put loads of rat shrines here by this massive farming complex. Uh, put down a bunch of Osiris and Patan and Seth. Um, also, some of the farms that were going up this way, I have disconnected this, so there's only a small num number of farms supporting this. And the remaining 10 that were down here are now supporting over here, which is giving us pretty much a big chunk of food, which we are going to need. Um, this yard can just be emptied because we don't need it. So yeah, we're just starting to build up the city, starting to basically reach our target population. With all of this, we should reach 10,000. I might not need this block, but we will see. Uh, given that our unemployment will be getting a little high, that's okay. We just need to increase taxes to keep exporting. That's all we need to do. We don't really need to worry about exports anymore. So yeah, I'll come back in when we're nearly about to win the mission because that's all we need to do is boost prosperity, which will be done by this block. And culture is just going to tick along quite nicely as well. We've got everything we need in storage. Linen is a bit low, but that's okay. So yeah, let's just keep on going. And there we go, we've got eight stately manors. Nice and stable, it's still filling up. Um, they just pretty much hyper evolved very quickly. We are about to hit 10,000. So this little block that I had here that wasn't uh, filled out or anything, I've just gone ahead and deleted it because we don't need it. I mean, we've got 80 prosperity and our unemployment's still good. And I've still got two housing blocks that I can basically evolve with some linen and they will go up to the next level. And they're all fully stable as well, which makes it even better. So all we need to now do is work on culture. So we are putting down as many booths as we can, uh, which will use up this unemployment, but there's still people willing to move in, another circa 400, which is good. But at this point, we are just trying to uh, work on culture. We just need lots of musicians now. Our prosperity is met, so we don't need to worry about that. So let's just put down bandstand. I just need to make sure I do this correctly. So there. It's two bandstands. I will add in additional uh, firehouses. There we go. Its population of 10,000 places your city in Egypt's top tier. Indeed that does. So that's going to be perfect for our city. Now this is probably going to mess up access to housing. Now I hope it doesn't do too much. But it will probably do some collateral damage. Which is not going to be very useful. But we are going to need to try and boost this. Because we are short a lot of these stages. We need to get these up into... Excellent or thereabouts. We need to cover as many people as we can. Uh, prosperity is not a problem because um, manners cover that. Let's just put that up and get more tax income out of these things. I mean these things aren't even filled yet which is excellent. By the time I finish the mission they will be filled. So yeah we've hit target population. Our ratings are pretty much there. Kingdom, pop population, prosperity is going to be there. Monument just needs these to be dispatched which I will do last. All I have to do is the culture, and I'll come back to that later. And folks, that's us done with Baki. We just put down a couple of schools and uh, libraries in this corner, because we did need a few more scribal schools. Despite the fact that pretty much every housing block is covered by one, we still needed them. And this was lost access to the library because the papyrus is ran out. So we're just going to have to hope that this prosperity stays at 100, which it will. So we've got just over the population. And we don't have any unemployment problems. Look at that. It's a perfectly stable city. 
Apparently I haven't made very many savings, which is unfortunate. I will need them in the next mission, probably. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter. It totally doesn't matter. Perfect coverage of um, juggler stages. This start, sort of went up as I was putting down musicians and dancers. But for the most part, one thing I will point out is that when it comes to these ratings... Um, pardon me. When it comes to these, if you want to boost juggler coverage, just spam moves rather than trying to put down um, these. Because these are like 20 employees, but these are only like 8. So a bunch of these will at least get this up. So what I'm trying to say is that if you want to boost juggler coverage, spam moves. If you want to boost musician coverage, spam bandstands. And if you want to boost dancers coverage, spam pavilions. You only need a couple of these, so it won't be too much of a problem. But if you get to up about uh, very good, you should be fine. Uh, Senate houses are not a problem. One of them is usually fine. But there we go, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and dispatch the 32 weapons, the bunch of pottery, the linen, the luxury goods, and the chariots. And this will take over very shortly. Let's just have a quick marvel of our city. Two housey blocks here supporting our eight stately ma well, seven stately manors plus spacious manor. Ton of farms, and our monuments, and the stupid thing bugged out, but there you go. All of our monuments butting up against this coastal little town, which is doing pretty nicely. Let's just see if we can keep our ratings held together until the end of the year, the month, rather. 1% unemployment, and there we go. Victory! We've done Baki, we've built a gleaming, stunning city, with limited exports. Let us proceed to end the mission. Most peaceful Pharaoh, your calming influence has brought Egypt to the brink of new greatness. Really? A single sentence is all you can say? Well, never mind. We have calmed Egypt and we built a lovely city. 70 culture, max out prosperity. I mean, the kingdom rating was stupidly easy to make. We just got constant requests, so that wasn't a problem. Could have had higher funds. I could have also tried to get personal savings, but that's not a problem. I uh, completed 600 months. That's actually quite quick for me. I don't remember how long I normally take, but that's quite quick. On hard mode, we also built those monuments. So yeah, there's Baki. Now, if you're interested in seeing the militaristic pathway, I've mentioned this before, but if you want to see the militaristic pathway, click the left-hand card to go to Byblos. But if you want to see the finale of the peaceful campaign and pretty much the final mission of Pharaoh, click the right-hand card and we'll head to Hetep Sanusri. One of the hardest missions in the game so far. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.